why is now the right time for Saudi Arabia and Iran to normalize their relationship? Well, I think I think the the you know I'll, I'll just speak from a Saudi standpoint. I think uh, the Crown Prince uh, and I think the leadership there believes that this is a very important moment for Saudi Arabia as it emerges, uh, given its economic transformation plan, emerges as a as a real leader in the world on many issues, whether it's climate or whether it's uh, uh, various aspects of foreign policy and international relations. And I think uh, you know a constant struggle with Iran uh, delays that and impedes that progress that they've made. Obviously the United States could not have, could not have made this, this uh, uh, agreement possible because we don't have a relationship with Iran. Uh, I think China was, was a good partner to do this. I think they're the right people. I think obviously they're investing a huge amount in Saudi Arabia. So I think, I think this is a very good thing all the way around. So what does this tell us about China's role in the security arrangements of the Gulf and the wider Middle East moving forward? I'm not sure what it tells us about the security aspects. I think still the United States is the, the, the major security partner to Saudi Arabia and to most of the Middle East countries, certainly the Gulf states uh, and, and others in the region. So uh, we still, for example, have almost a uh, billion dollars worth of foreign military sales to Saudi Arabia. Uh, active sales going on. So we are, we're a very important strategic partner for them. Uh, I think what China has, has become obviously is a chief trading partner. They've, they've doubled the amount of trade that we do with them. And uh, they're investing a lot in the region and they want to be a bigger player from a trade, commerce, economic standpoint. Uh, whether they become a bigger player on the diplomatic front, uh, we're seeing a little bit of that now. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so I think I think things are this is this is good. This is good progress. So some say though that this is a defeat for the United States and for Israel, a defeat for the U.S. because China broke the deal, and for Israel, whose security is now compromised as a result of Saudi Arabia and Iran becoming closer together. What's your view? Yeah, I think it, I don't think it's a defeat for the United States at all. I, I think obviously our relationship, uh, certainly in this administration, has has not been positive with Saudi Arabia on a broader uh, point of view, but on specific areas, we still are uh, very close to them on intelligence, on security issues, on on strategy. Uh, I think we're still the biggest partner they have, and we we will remain that way. Um, so for us, I don't think this is a defeat at all. It actually st provides some stability. Uh, we hope that this will uh, allow the, the Houthis now to actually stop their war with, with uh, Saudi Arabia and, and, and bring about a peace agreement. Doesn't mean that there'll be peace in Yemen because the Yemen government and the Houthis will still have issues to, to claim, but at least with Saudi Arabia, there could be an end to the to the conflict there, that'll be positive. Uh, it hopefully will stabilize things in Iraq as well. And that's important to the United States and to the region. So, and I think the Gulf states where you are, um, you know, they do a, have been doing a significant amount of trade with Iran anyway, a lot of it under the table and behind the scenes, but now they can be more open about that. And, uh, and I think it's, I think it's a very positive step and it, reduces our, our, uh, our uh, need to be constantly involved and to be thinking about uh, how do we push the envelope for this, for that there. We now have uh, the Saudis taking a greater role in that themselves.